Hi everyone, welcome. We are Node School Sao Paulo. This is our first meetup in Brazil. No, it's the first meetup in Sao Paulo. And we will show you some hackings that we are trying to make here. So we have a, a really good friend living in Argentina, Alejandro. He just published a really good website showing how to use VS Code on your web browser to our presentation or to our workshops. So basically, we have our workshops on Node School IO and we will install this Node School IO and these packages in these VMs or these containers for all of our attendees. So now we will show how it works. Okay. So the whole point of this is to have a whole platform for the users to, you know, use to even if someone doesn't have uh, something installed in their computers, uh, so they can actually use everything that Node School has to offer, all the workshoppers and everything. So we basically have a VM uh, with a lot of containers. Uh, these containers have an, uh, an instance of code server, VS Code Server, and we are getting them up for now. How big is this VM? So, right now, uh, we are using a VM with uh, 26 gigabytes of RAM, so it's a lot of things, uh, because each container is for one user, so we need to have, uh, okay, so I'm spinning up, spinning up uh, 80 containers, so we have 80 users able to use this whole platform. Uh, once it's all done, you can like enter on a, on a simple website URL, uh, then you can put your password, and you start using it uh, and you know you can use it for like yeah. forever just a reminder we are microsoft mvps all of these subscription these vms we are using because we have this subscription of microsoft so thank you microsoft for that yeah. for hosting us for today. sponsoring no yeah. school sao paulo yeah and basically here we are uploading or just starting our containers and after that we could access for the whole planet so you can access for the ipad we could access for our macbook and we just wait a little bit for this to start. So this is the Azure panel we use to host this VM. So you can see it's kind of uh, using a lot of RAM, a lot of disk operations, because we are spinning up 80 containers at a time. So it will take a few moments. Uh, the way it works is like you have a container, inside this container you have a volume, and everyone, every, every user, every attendee here uh, will be able to, you know, mess around and do whatever they like because they won't mess up with other people's containers. Uh, and they can download their projects uh, by, you know, typing download in the terminal. They have a terminal and they can, you know, have fun forever, everywhere. Yeah, just trying to explain why we are trying to make this. So every attendee has to install the packages in their VMs or their PCs. And this has a little cost, so we have to install, we have to use the internet, so we have maybe 80 attendees trying to access the internet, try to install something, and this will avoid like a necessary internet, so we could be more productive using that. So in this case, what's happening there? It's finishing up, it's publishing our front end, so we are using now from Zeit, so thank you Zeit for uh, sponsoring Node School. And we are publishing it the, the first website, the, the front end, uh, so we can actually uh, access this. So it's aliasing the things. So you said to me that every container, every user can't access another instance. So yeah. It's totally individual. It's totally individual. So we can do this like node school s or well, node school sp dot now dot sh. Okay, you could access on iPad as well. IPad as well. Ah, because I don't have connection. So, uh, I'll try to access okay. here. So, you put this one here, open a new. So, what is this, this one? So, uh, when, once you get the info, uh, you get a password and, a, and a, you know, a URL, a single URL for yourself. It's uh, one per user. So, you can click this and you go to another website, but you have to put the password here. And then you hit enter IDE. Uh, I'm just logging into the Wi-Fi here, so... So this is very amazing for each workshop or really each uh, session that we will make, we just open up this whole infrastructure and we could delete and we could open again. So all of these customers are securing our infrastructure and actually we have a lot of new fixes to make but our MVPs are ready. So 
If you saw here, if you take a look at the website. This is a whole uh, VS Code. So there is an introduction markdown here. We, you, you can actually put some things pre-installed. So this is welcome to Node School SP. Uh, there's a beginner's guide and there is installing new packages. Everything here uh, you have like Git, you have NPM, you have uh, Node, for instance. You can do like, you know, console.log, hey. So what happens if some customers try to access another container? Or they actually container? can't, uh, because you need to, to, since it's a container, uh, you need to, it's, it's completely individual, completely focused on several things uh, that you can actually access some other person's uh, container. So you can mess around with your friends. Uh, this is actually pretty awesome because you can't uh, delete things. But this is amazing. So, if you need more containers or if you need more attendees, what do you have to do to scale? Just spin up more more containers. Uh, this is well. I wrote a. It's a several commands, but uh, I wrote like a start container shell script. It's simply a few uh, Docker. Docker commands, Docker runs, you see Docker runs. Uh, there is a config JSON and there is some, uh, this is uh, the part where I create the, the main volumes and put the introduction into these volumes so the introduction can appear like here. And if the, the well, at the end of the event we delete this thing so we don't actually make using. this thing using. Yeah. So if everyone wants to take their project some, they can just type download here and they can access this URL. and they can download their projects and everything is here. So the iPad works as well. So you have the whole experience, uh, the same experience actually in the, in the iPad since it's a web-based uh, web thing. So yeah. So nothing. just to summarize everything, all of this project we will publish in the repository on GitHub. So we need your help to improve this whole uh, infrastructure, this whole experience. So if you are able to help us, just feel free to approach us. So yeah. thank you. And thank, thank you, so, you much. so much for Alejandro too. Yeah. Yeah, Alejandro is the one who created this thing that made everything this possible. So since it's open source, we are if you want to contribute, if you want to improve it, be our guest. See you okay. then. See you then.